Good morning. It's Wednesday. I have a bag of poop in my pocket. If you hear the crinkling, I, I apologize. Speaking of bags of poop in my pocket, let's talk about Granite State transparency. <laughs> Did you enjoy that segue? That was, that was mostly a joke. Someone said in the comments, she looks like she eats too much dairy. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it's hilarious. You shouldn't be mean to her. You shouldn't be mean to her. I know, I'm a troll. Relax, it'll be okay. I have uh, nothing personal against her. I'm just warning people because people seem to need warnings in this community. People do stupid shit and follow stupid people who don't have their best interests in heart. So if you, it's funny. It's funny. Every time I start doing this, every time, people are like, oh no, it's a good person. It's just, you're just being mean. Why you gotta be mean? It's a good person. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Every time. Every time. How do you think this one's going to go? How do you think transparency, gold, garden, granite, whatever the hell, granite state transparency, how do you think this is going to work out? Do you think I'm going to be wrong? Do you think she's not going to be a money hound? I've been calling this forever. If, if you guys buy 50 of my t-shirts, I'll give you guys a live stream. <laughs> Why does she keep privating her videos? I'm just telling you, she's a she's a, a money hound. She's not doing what she's doing to hold the state accountable. First of all, uh, you really need to define that term because it's been thrown around a lot and nobody seems to know what the hell holding a state accountable or holding a government accountable or holding the police accountable looks like. I would posit to you that Turner came the closest in this little community of holding the police accountable. I uh, know, I guess some of the other people who have who've done their little magic settlements that they've, that they never disclose. And, you know, they really can't because there are non-disclosure agreements, but they, they sure keep their e-bag insights up. So, you know, they still need them dollary dues. Help them keep fighting the good fight. It doesn't matter. They just got a settlement, an undisclosed settlement. Hmm. It's amazing the things you start learning. The dirty underbelly, indeed. But yeah, I, I tell you there's a problem with someone. You guys say, no, no, no. And then I say, yes, there is. And then, and then docs start dropping. And then inside information starts spilling out. <laughs> How do you think this is going to go? I mean, I mean, before you throw your full weight behind her, trying to support her, Think about it for a minute. You're going to look retarded again. She's not holding anybody accountable, but she is definitely about the dollars. And money is the root of all evil. If you, if you wonder why I don't monetize, number one, I don't have to because I'm making enough money. More money would be better, but I'm making enough money. And number two, I know if I monetize, the direction my content would take would reflect the dollar dues coming in. My insights would change. Oh, I don't want to piss off this revenue stream. Oh, I don't want to show this video because this is going to cause my Patreons to stop endorsing me. Can't do that. Money causes problems. Um, Earl was... I don't know if anybody else remembers this, but remember how uh, YouTube was, was trying to silence him? Trying to silence him? And he had to fight to get his videos back? Uh, it, it, YouTube was was uh, putting his, his videos in limited ad state. So he wasn't going to make a bunch of money from them. And so he would put his appeal in and he would private the video so you wouldn't get a chance to watch it. And he could make a little video, you know, playing the victim so that, so that you would uh, be all hyped up to watch his video, you know, give him those clicks, give him those uh, ad watch times, right? And then he'd re-release it once it was fully monetized. 
so all of his views would count so he'd get more video or more uh more ads on it is that holding the government accountable well he's just being smart he's been a good businessman yeah you're, you're making excuses he's he's driven by the dollars if you've wondered why his uh, content has decreased in quality, it's because he learned that there's money to be made in this. He could, he could buy himself a new office shed for his uh, travel camper. I still don't believe he has a sailboat. I believe he works at that marina. Teresa, Teresa never has been on his sailboat. I think he's full of shit. I know he's full of shit, but it's uh, it's hard picking out the little fact nuggets from the uh, lie nuggets. Anyway, so yeah, Granite State Transparency. She's in it for the dollar he dues. She's not she's not holding anybody accountable. She has not held anybody accountable yet. She's she's done every single thing a money hound is gonna be able to do i'm just waiting for the for her to get a twitch account and start a titty cam because that's the next step i mean she could uh she could be playing her little videos with a, a little a little camera in the corner showing her kind of down blouse you know how the titty cameras do and then uh and then all you all you hard up audit followers out there can uh can throw your shekels at her and uh, make her an independently wealthy woman support her in the lifestyle to which she has become accustomed yeah it's funny it's funny how i called her out and then next thing you know she's out there just hitting the streets and she's she's just banging out these audits huh 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 it's funny it's funny, it's transparent. So yeah, when she's, when she's calling herself Gar Granite State Transparency, uh, she is pretty damn transparent. Her, her motives shine right through. Uh, speaking of something that nothing has ever shown through, uh, News Now Ohio, I saw in his vapid defense of, uh, who's that fat butterball? Jones, Thief Jones. Uh, he says he owned me. All right, this time, this time you're not gonna do nothing. You're gonna relax. I'm gonna put you guys in the pocket here just so I have two hands on this. Okay, relax. Relax. No, relax. Relax. Good times. Sorry, where were we? Oh yeah, uh, news now, news now, mess. Um, the other, the other Ohio meth head. <laughs> You're welcome, OG two. OG two's all right. I mean, you know, for a guy who does meth, he's all right. He's he's raising he's raising his uh, he's raising his wife's kids really well, so. You got it. You got to appreciate a man who will step up and raise another man's kids. This is all a joke, by the way. It's an inside joke. If you're not on my Discord, you don't understand how I am joking about that, and it's all good. Anyway, News Now Ohio is uh, was trying to defend Thief Jones, and he says he shut me down. Now I don't know how he shut me down. Um, he made claims in his. Uh, they arrested my wife for filming. In the, he started off with the arrest of my wife for filming in the court. Um, and then it turned into he, they arrested her uh, because they were mad that uh, the, the uh, News Now Ashtray won his case. And I made two, two suppositions, if I remember correctly. Supposition number one is that they didn't give two shits that he won his case. And supposition number two is that he didn't win his case. The case might have been dismissed, might have been, you know, dropped, 
something. But he didn't win it. It wasn't on the strength of his argument that that this happened. Now, he shut me down by foyering the court video, courtroom video of his little, I'll call it a trial. And uh, a couple things stuck out of me. Number one, it was about a three, four minute, four minute, I think a little over four minutes. Maybe a little over three minutes. I don't remember exactly. It's three or four minutes long. And you're not going to get a whole lot of arguments done in that period of time. I think he walks up to the bench somewhere around the 30 second mark. Uh, some of that will be the introductory. Like if he is going to give testimony or something like that, it'll be a swearing in. Or maybe they did the swearing in at the beginning for everybody who's going to be biting a ticket that day. But there's going to be some little introductory stuff, like the uh, court's going to ask him some questions about how he plans to proceed. And, uh, you know, little things. So I can't imagine a whole lot of, uh, of legal arguments were made in that period of time. And a good portion of the time is the, uh, I'm going to assume that she's the state's representative, some sort of a prosecutor. I don't know exactly, maybe a city prosecutor or something. Not entirely sure. Don't really care. Good amount of that time is spent with her getting some paperwork that she hands to uh, News Now Ashtray. And she discusses it with him, and then he takes that paperwork and leaves and summons his wife on the way out. Now... Someone's getting, someone who's much smarter than me is going to have to explain why he needed paperwork to leave that courtroom if his, uh, if his ticket was dismissed. Well, it was on the paperwork. Did he actually win his case? I have questions. His, his shutting me down doesn't have answers. The other big deal is uh, it doesn't show what happened. He was allowed to leave. Nobody was reacting. After his wife and him were outside of the courtroom, then you see something caused the prosecutor to react. And her and the bailiffs started bouncing out of there. So, it doesn't prove, it doesn't show what he thinks it shows. It certainly doesn't show they were mad because he won. It doesn't even show that he won. And uh, it doesn't show that his wife was popped for filming in the courtroom. Now my best guess would be that they said something loud in the hallway as they were leaving. Like, fuck this court or something along those lines. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.